If I'm being honest, my entire life hinges on four spreadsheets. I have one for work, one for home, one for my finances, and since I'm a content creator, one to make content. For work, I have my task tracker that I keep track of all the tasks that get added to my workload throughout the week. For home, I have my chore tracker and that automatically adds what chores I need to be done each day so I know what chores I need to focus on and knock those out. For finance, I have a weekly budget tracker and that allows me to see what bills are due each day, what bills are coming up, how much runway I have in my bank account, and I can plan for things in the future like vacation, things like that, super, super easily. And lastly, I'm a content creator, so I have a content planner where I can list out every single piece of content, schedule what day I wanna post it on, and then I have a calendar overview to see exactly what I have due each day and what status those videos are in to easily make sure I'm not overbooking myself, but still putting out enough content to be engaging. Without further ado, let me show you how they work. I just got promoted to director level and I owe a lot of it to this task tracker. And best of all, it's super easy to use. Whenever I complete a task, I'll mark it as done and it will completely be removed from this task list and moved to the bottom of my done tab. To add a new task, I can just click on the plus button and then I'll add the task details under task list. I'll assign a type. If I don't know about it at the beginning of the week, it'll be unplanned. I'll put my status as not started and the priority and then the task focus so I know exactly what part of my job description it falls under. I can create custom filter views to see things in different orders and I can sort by priority to make sure that I'm always focusing in the right order. Whenever I mark a task as pending, the timestamp will appear under task started. And when I mark a task as done, a timestamp will appear under task completed before being deleted from my task list and moving entirely to the done tab. My completed calendar keeps track of how many tasks I've completed each week. And I can see exactly what areas of my job I'm spending the most time. I have a running list of every single task that I've completed throughout my time. So I know exactly what I need to hit on during performance reviews. And all of my recurring tasks are automatically added to the bottom of my task list each day. If I'm not ready to complete a task, I can simply mark it as parked and it will move from the task list to the bottom of the park tab. And then whenever I'm ready to complete it, I can mark it as ready and it will move back to the task list. And to set things up for the next week, all I have to do is mark any unplanned tasks as planned tasks and change the date to the next Monday. And it's as easy as that. That's how I stay organized at work. Using this weekly budget tracker is actually super simple. All you have to do is log the expense in your calendar to pay the bill. So for example, we have bill two, that's $402. So I'm gonna go to our expense tracker Double click on the date and say I'm going to pay that today. It will be a debit since it's coming out of my account. And then I'm going to select bill two. And let's say I'm putting it on credit card three. I'll put $402 as well as the location. And I'm just going to put bill pay for this example. And we can see right here that now it says zero. Now, if you put it on your debit card, all you need to do is update your starting amount with the new balance. But since I put it on a credit card, I just need to make one more step. So I'm going to go to bills, I'm going to simply update credit card three with the new remaining balance. So right now you can see the amount due next month is zero, but since I put something on it after I log all of my transactions, I'm just going to check my remaining balance on my bank app. And this is 15, 14. So now you can see next month we have to pay $402. When I go back to my projected weekly budget tracker, if I go to next month, it will automatically be updated for the new balance so that we make sure we pay everything in full every single month and not have to worry about it. If you want to plan for a future event like travel or something, all you have to do is put travel on the dates that you want to go. And at the end of the formula, just put what your budget will be. So let's say I want to have a $2,000 budget for travel. So you can see right here that we are short, so we need to make sure we adjust to plan for travel so we don't go into debt or anything like that. I can see that I have a $1,500 transfer to savings set up. So I'm simply going to delete that. And now we have a $385 buffer. Let's say that I want to take some out of savings to have a little bit more. I'm gonna put 600 and now I have about $1,000 to play with. Now, if you wanna build wealth, it's super easy to cut down on your discretionary spendings. So for example, I can go to bills and over here, we have all of our weekly recurring transactions. So let's say instead of 125, I want to spend 100 every week. So you can see our monthly total went from 500 to 400. And now you can see if I go back to my projected weekly budget tracker, instead of just over $1,300, we now have just shy of 1,600. So you're able to kind of play around with your budget, see what works best for you to meet the goals that you need. There's also a spend calendar to quickly see where your no spend days are. So you can filter by everything. This shows you every single transaction or you can go to only discretionary and groceries, and this shows you anything that's discretionary or wants, not needs, as well as groceries. Or you can select by only discretionary, so these are only transactions that, you're, that are considered wants and not needs to see if there's any trends, if you wanna cut back on different areas, different things like that. Or you're doing just fine, live your life. And finally, you have a dashboard where you can see your current total, all your different balances, 
You can also see your spending compared to what your weekly target is, your monthly spending compared to your budget to see if you're going over or under, your 12 month projection for your balance plus savings, your balance and your savings, and then your monthly discretionary spending as well as monthly subscriptions to see if it's staying the same, increasing or decreasing, and your monthly transactions per payment type. So I use this to get out of debt completely and I've been able to really restructure my finances to be a multimillionaire by the time I retire. And I'm sure you'll find a lot of value in it as well. Whenever a chore needs to be completed, it will automatically add the chore to the bottom of this list. And when I complete a chore, all I have to do is check the box for completed and it will automatically move that chore from this list and move it to the bottom of my completed tab. It's super easy to customize it so you can say exactly what area, who the owner is, the frequency, the detail of what the chore is, all within the same place. And you can set the drop down super easily on the right. You can see exactly how many days it's been since the task was added to the chore list. And best of all, it works on your phone as well. I have this idea bank and here I'll list every single idea that I have at the time that I have them so that way I don't forget about it later on. Whenever I'm ready to execute that idea, I'll simply mark it as pending and it will move from my idea tab to my content planner. And right here I can see exactly what I have on queue. I can assign this to whatever date I want it to be. So for example, if I want to post this on the 16th, I can. And I'll just simply drag this up to be in chronological order. And now on my content calendar, I can see that this is listed for the 16th. As I go through the process of creation, I simply mark the status as the current status. And then you'll see on the content calendar that it will update based off of what status it's in. And once I post the content, I'll simply mark it as published slash accepted. And it will move from my active list to the bottom of the past content tab. And on my content calendar, it will be grayed out. So those are the four templates that I use to hold my life together. I have a pre-built version on my shop if you wanna buy them, or I have a full tutorial for every single one of these templates on my YouTube channel if you'd rather build them instead. I hope they help your life as much as they help mine. Like and comment for more.